Hey everyone, it is Alvin here from Green Ground, your go-to channel for the latest in movies, television series, and technology. Today we are diving into a story that has been making waves in the tech world, and trust me, it is a big one. So grab your popcorn, sit back, and let us unravel this intriguing tale together. You are Apple, a technology giant known for innovation and sleek designs. You have got a lineup of products that people queue up for, and among them is the Apple Watch, a symbol of tech-savvy elegance. Now here is where the plot thickens. Apple recently announced they are halting sales of their latest smartwatches, the Ultra 2 and Series 9, on their website starting December 21st, and in retail stores after December 24th. Why you ask? Well, it is all due to a patent dispute with a company called Massimo, a name that is now on every tech enthusiast's lips. Massimo, a medical technology company, holds patents related to a feature in the Apple Watch, the blood oxygen sensor. This feature, which has been a part of the Apple Watch since Series 7, is at the heart of this high-stakes drama. It is like those little devices you clip on your finger to check your oxygen levels, but Apple integrated it right into their watch. Clever, right? But here is the catch. Massimo claims this technology infringes on their patents, and guess what? They won a lawsuit with the International Trade Commission against Apple. This ruling is more than just a legal hiccup. For Apple, it is a full-blown storm preventing them from importing and selling these watches in the United States. Now, let us talk about the blood oxygen sensor. This nifty little feature gained prominence. During the COVID-19 pandemic, it was like having a health monitor right on your wrist. But the accuracy of this sensor compared to other methods has been a topic of hot debate. And this is where Massimo's patents come into play. They are similar enough to this feature that the International Trade Commission ruled in their favor. Apple, on the other hand, is not taking this lying down. They are pushing for the Biden administration to intervene, but time is ticking. The deadline for a decision is fast approaching. Apple has a few options here. They could pay Massimo the demanded amount, remove the feature from future watches, or continue selling the CEDU model, which does not include this feature and is not affected by the dispute. Now let us take a step back and look at the bigger picture. This situation is unprecedented for Apple. They have never had to pull such a new product from their stores before. It is like a tech thriller with twists and turns at every corner. And here's where it gets even more interesting. Apple has accused Massimo of stealing patented features from them for its smartwatch. Talk about a plot twist. So what does this mean for us? The consumers, for starters, if you are in the United States and have been eyeing the latest Apple Watch, you might need to rethink your holiday shopping list. But more importantly, this saga highlights the intricate dance between innovation, patents, and competition in the tech world. It is a delicate balance, and sometimes even giants, like Apple, find themselves in a tight spot. As we wrap up this story, I cannot help but wonder, what is the next chapter in this tech drama? Will Apple pay up or will they find a workaround? And what about Massimo? Are they the David to Apple's Goliath in this patent battle? Only time will tell. But hey, that is enough from me. I want to hear from you. What do you think about this whole situation? Do you think Apple should pay Massimo or should they remove the feature from their watches? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of tech and legal drama, do not forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more content from Green Ground. We have got plenty more where this came from. For more details on this story, check out the description below, and if you have got any questions or want to continue the conversation, feel free to ask in the comments. Until next time, this is Alvin, signing off. Keep it classy, tech lovers.